crisis. And for both of you, uh, the number of overdose deaths in this country has gone up. Under your term, it went up. Under your term, it has gone up. Uh, former President Trump, despite the efforts that both of you have made, more than 100,000 Americans are dying from overdoses every year, primarily from fentanyl and other opioids. What will you do to help Americans right now in the throes of addiction who are struggling to get the treatment they need? To finish up, we now have the largest deficit in the history of our country under this guy. We have the largest deficit with China. He gets paid by China. He's a Manchurian candidate. He gets money from China. We have, so I think he's afraid to deal with them or something. But do you notice he never took out my tariffs because we bring in so much money with the tariffs that I imposed on China. He never took them away. He can't because it's too much money. It's tremendous. And we saved our steel industries and there was more to come, but he hasn't done that. But he hasn't cut the tariffs because he can't, because it's too much money. But he's got the largest deficit in the history of our country, and he's got the worst, the worst situation with China. China's going to own us if you keep allowing them to do what they're doing to us as a country. They are killing us as a country, Joe, and you can't let that happen. You're destroying our country. So, President Trump, you have 67 seconds left. The question was, what are you going to do to help Americans in the throes of addiction right now who are struggling to get the treatment they need? Jake, we were doing very well at addiction until the COVID came along. We had the two and a half, almost three years of like nobody's ever had before any country in every way. And then we had to get tough. And it was the drugs pouring across the border were it, it started to increase. We got great equipment. We bought the certain dog. That's the most incredible thing that you've ever seen, the way they can spot it. We did a lot. And we had we were getting very low numbers, very, very low numbers. Then he came along. The numbers, have you seen the numbers now? It's not only the 18 million people that I believe is even low because they, the gotaways, they don't even talk about gotaways. But the numbers of the, the amount of drugs and human trafficking in women coming across our border, the worst thing I've ever seen, at numbers that nobody's ever seen under him because the border's so bad, but the, the number of drugs coming across our border now is, is the largest we've ever had by far. President Trump, thank you. President Biden? Fentanyl and the byproducts of fentanyl went down for a while. And I wanted to make sure we use the machinery that can detect fentanyl, these big machines that roll over everything that comes across the border. And it costs a lot of money. That was part of this deal we put together, this bipartisan deal. More fentanyl machines, more, more be able to detect drugs, more, more numbers of, of agents, more numbers of all the people at the border. And when we had that deal done, he went, he called his Republican colleagues and said, don't do it. It's going to hurt me politically. No, he never argued it's not a good bill. It's a really good bill. We need those machines. We need those machines. And we're coming down very hard in every country in Asia in terms of precursors for fentanyl. And Mexico is working with us to make sure they don't have the technology to be able to put it together. That's what we have to do. We need those machines. Thank you, President Biden. Now, President Trump, and again, the question is about Americans in the throes of addiction right now struggling to get the treatment they need. Well, this, because this does pertain it, to it. He ended Remain in Mexico. He ended Catch and Release. I made it Catch and Release in Mexico, not Catch and Release here. We had so many things that we had done, hard negotiations with Mexico, and I got it all for nothing. It's just like when you have a hostage. We always pay $6 billion for a hostage. Every time we say it's a hostage. Now we have a hostage, a Wall Street Journal reporter, I think a good guy, and he's over there because Putin is laughing at this guy, probably asking for billions of dollars for the reporter. I will have him out very quickly. As soon as I take office, before I take office, I said, by literally, as soon as I win the election, I will have that reporter out. He should have had him out a long time ago. But Putin's probably asking for billions and billions of dollars because this guy pays it every time. We had two cases. We paid $6 billion for five people. I got 58 people out, and I paid essentially nothing. Thank you, President Trump. Dana? Let's turn to concerns that voters have about each of you. President Biden, you would be 86 at the 